Batanes Ivatan, Provincia New Batanes, Filipino, Liliwigan ng Batanes is an archipelago province in the Philippines situated in the Cagayan Valley region. It is the northernmost province in the country, and also the smallest, both in population and land area. Its capital is Bosco located in the island of Bataan. The island group is located approximately 162 kilometers, 101 miles north of the Luzon mainland and about 190 kilometers, 120 miles south of Taiwan, separated from the Babuyan Islands of Cagayan Province by the Balintang Channel and from Taiwan by the Bashi Channel. The entire province is listed in the UNESCO tentative list for inscription in the World Heritage List. The government has been finalizing the site S inscription, establishing museums and conservation programs since 2001. The government aims to push for the site's inclusion between 2018-2019. Seven intangible heritage elements of the Ivatan have been set by the Philippine government in its initial inventory in 2012. The elements are undergoing a process to be included in the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage Lists between 2018-2025. Etymology The name Batanes derives from the words Bataan, the local word for the Ivatan people. History The ancestors of today's Ivatans descended from Austronesians who migrated to the islands 4,000 years ago during the Neolithic period. They lived in fortified mountain areas called Idjangs and drank sugar cane wine, or Palak. They also used gold as currency and produced a thriving agriculture-based industry. They were also seafarers and boat builders. In 1687, a crew of English freebooters headed by William Dampier came with a Dutch crew and named the islands in honor of their country's nobility. It by it was named Orange Isle, after William of Orange, and Bataan was named Grafton Isle, after Henry Fitzroy, 1st Duke of Grafton. Safting Isle was named Monmouth Isle, after James Scott, 1st Duke of Monmouth. Capt. Dampier stayed for less than three months, and did not claim the islands for the British crown. In 1783, the Spanish claimed Batanes as part of the Philippines under the auspices of Governor General José Bosco y Vargas. The Bashi Channel was increasingly used by English East India Company ships and the Spanish authorities brought the islands under their direct administration to prevent them falling under British control. The Ivatan remained on their Ijangs, or mountain fortresses for some time. In 1790, Governor Guerrero decreed that Ivatans were to live in the lowlands and leave their remote Ijang. The Mangpas, the indigenous Ivatan leader of the islands during that time, made a revolution against the Spaniards afterwards. With much ammunition and steel armors, the Spanish authorities quelled the uprising, effectively subjugating the rebels. Bosco and Ivana were the first towns established under full Spanish control. Mahatao was then administered by Bosco, while Uyugan and Sabting, by Ivana. It by it was not organized until the 1850s, its coast being a ridge. Soon, Ilocanos came to the islands and integrated with the local population. Roads, ports, bridges, churches and government buildings were built in this time. Limestone technology used by the Spanish was also spread to the islands, making bridges strong and fortified. Some of these bridges still remain at Ivana and Mahatao. By 1890, many Ivatans were in Manila, and became Ilustrados, who then brought home with them the revolutionary ideas of the Katipunan. These Ivatans, who were then discontented with Spanish rule, killed the ruling general Fortia and declared the end of Spanish rule. Toward the end of the Spanish administration, Batanes was made a part of Cagayan. In 1909, the new American authorities organized it into an independent province. During the American colonial period, additional public schools were constructed and more Ivatan became aware of their place in the Philippines. In 1920, the first wireless telegraph was installed, followed by an airfield in 1930. New roads were constructed and the Batanes High School was instituted. Because of their strategic location, the islands was one of the first points occupied by invading Japanese imperial forces at the outbreak of the Pacific War. The morning of December 8, 1941, the Bataan Task Force from Taiwan landed on the Bataan Islands, which became the first American territory occupied by the Japanese. 
The purpose of the invasion was to secure the existing small airfield outside Bosco, which was accomplished without resistance. Japanese fighters from Bosco took part in the raid on Clark Air Base the following day. However, over the next several days, the success of the Japanese bombing of Clark Field rendered a base at Bosco unnecessary, and on December 10, 1941, the Naval Combat Force was withdrawn to participate in the invasion of Cumagan. One of the first school superintendents on Bataan was Victor de Padua, an Ilocano, who in 1942-45 during the Japanese occupation was made provincial governor. Early in 1945 the island was liberated by the Philippine Commonwealth Forces of the 1st and 12th Infantry Division of the Philippine Commonwealth Army. In 1984, Pasita Abad, the foremost Ivatan visual artist, became the first woman to be awarded the 10 Outstanding Young Men TOYM Award, breaking 25 years of male dominance. In her acceptance speech, she said, it was long overdue that Filipina women were recognized, as the Philippines was full of outstanding women, and referred proudly to her mother. In 1993, the Batanes Protected Landscape and Seascape, which encompassed the entire province, was listed in the tentative list of the Philippines for UNESCO World Heritage Site inscription in the future. In 1997, the Indigenous Peoples' Rights Act or IPRA was passed in Philippine Congress. The law paved the way for the indigenous territorial rights of the Ivatans. The province has since promoted its Ivatan roots. Part of the Ilocano population has returned to mainland Luzon. In December 7, 2004, Pasita Abad passed away after finishing her last international art work while suffering from cancer. Geography the province has a total area of 219.01 square kilometers, 84.56 square miles, comprising 10 islands situated within the Luzon Strait between the Balintang Channel and Taiwan. The islands are sparsely populated and subject to frequent typhoons. The three largest islands, Bataan, Itbayat, and Sabting, are the only inhabited islands. The northernmost island in the province, also the northernmost land in the entire Philippines, is Mavulus or Yami, Island. Other islands in the chain are Masanga, or North, Didarim, Siayan, Diogo, or Dinam, Ivujos, and Daki. The islands are part of the Luzon Volcanic Arc. Topography Almost one half of Batanes is hills and mountains. Bataan Island is generally mountainous on the north and southeast. It has a basin in the interior. Itbayat Island slopes gradually to the west, being mountainous and hilly along its northern, eastern coast. As for Sabting, mountains cover the central part, making the island slope outward to the coast. The islands are situated between the vast expanse of the waters of Bashi Channel and Balintang Channel, where the Pacific Ocean merges with the China Sea. The area is a sea lane between the Philippines and Japan, China, Hong Kong and Taiwan. It is rich with marine resources, including the rarest sea corals in the world. The province is hilly and mountainous, with only 1,631.5 hectares or 7.1% of its area level to undulating, and 78.2% or 17,994.4 hectares varying from rolling to steep and very steep. 42% 42% or 9,734.40 hectares are steep to very steep land. Because of the terrain of the province, drainage is good and prolonged flooding is non-existent. The main island of Bataan has the largest share of level and nearly level lands, followed by Itbayat and Sabting, respectively. Itbayat has gently rolling hills and nearly level areas on semi-plateaus surrounded by continuous massive cliffs rising from 20 to 70 meters 66 to 230 feet above sea level, with no shorelines. Sapting has its small flat areas spread sporadically on its coasts, while its interior is dominated by steep mountains and deep canyons. Bataan Island and Sabting have intermittent stretches of sandy beaches and rocky shorelines. The terrain of the province, while picturesque at almost every turn, has limited the potential for expansion of agriculture in an already very small province. Climate Batanes has a tropical climate, Köppen climate classification AF. 
The average yearly temperature is 26.0 degrees Celsius .8 degrees Fahrenheit, and the average monthly temperature ranges from 22.0 degrees Celsius .6 degrees Fahrenheit in January to 28.5 degrees Celsius .3 degrees Fahrenheit in July, similar to that of southern Taiwan. Precipitation is abundant throughout the year, the rainiest month is August while the driest month is April. November to February are the coldest months. There is a misconception that Batanes is constantly battered by typhoons. Batanes is mentioned frequently in connection with typhoons because it holds the northernmost weather station in the Philippines and is thus a reference point for all typhoons that enter the Philippine area. However, in September 2016, Typhoon Maranti impacted the entire province, including a landfall on Itbayat. Administrative divisions Batanes is subdivided into six municipalities, all encompassed by a lone congressional district. Barangays The six municipalities of the province comprise a total of 29 barangays, with Ihuvik II in Bosco as the most populous in 2010, and Nakanyuan in Sabting as the least. Demographics the population of Batanes in the 2015 census was 17,246 people, with a density of 79 inhabitants per square kilometer or 200 inhabitants per square mile. The natives are called Ivatans and share prehistoric cultural and linguistic commonalities with the Babuyan on Babuyan Island and the Dao people of Orchid Island. This divided homeland is a result of the Dutch invasion of Taiwan in 1624 Dutch Formosa, and Spanish invasion in 1626 Spanish Formosa. The northern half of the Ivatan homeland, Formosa and Orchid Island which were formerly part of the Viceroyalty of New Spain, fell to the Dutch who were in turn expelled in 1662 by forces of the Chinese Southern Ming Dynasty, led by the Chinese pirate Kaozinga who then set himself up as the King of Taiwan. The southern half of the Ivatan homeland, the islands of Batanes, was reinforced and fortified by Spanish refugees from Formosa before being formally joined in the 18th century with the Spanish government in Manila. The main languages spoken in Batanes are Ivatan, which is spoken on the islands of Bataan and Sabting, Itbayatan, which is spoken primarily on the island of Itbayat. The Ivatan which is dominant in the province is considered to be one of the Austronesian languages. From college level down to elementary level, the language is widely spoken. Religion The large majority of the island's people adhere to Roman Catholicism. The remaining faiths are other Christian churches. Ecology an extensive survey of the ecology of Batanes provided the scientific basis for confirming the need for a national park in Batanes protecting the Batanes protected landscapes and seascapes, proposed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, submitted on 15 August 1993. An effort is underway to declare the whole province, along with the Sugar Central Sites and Negros, as a UNESCO World Heritage Site by the end of 2020. Flora and Fauna the province is the home of the unique conifer species Podocarpus costalis. Although it is reportedly growing in some other places such as coasts of Luzon, Catanduanas and even Taiwan, full blossoming and fruiting are observed only in Batanes. Its fruiting capacity on the island remains a mystery but is likely due to several factors such as climate, soil and type of substratum of the island. Several species of birds, bats, reptiles and amphibians also inhabit the island, many of those are endemic in the Philippines. The island is also a sanctuary of different migratory birds during winter in the northern hemisphere. Economy About 75% of the Ivatans are farmers and fishermen. The rest are employed in the government and services sector. Garlic and cattle are major cash crops. Ivatans also plant camo, sweet potato, cassava, gabi or tuber and a unique variety of white uvi. Sugarcane is raised to produce pollock, a kind of native wine, and vinegar. In recent years, fish catch has declined due to the absence of technical know-how. 
Employment opportunities are scarce. Most of the educated Ivatans have migrated to urban centers or have gone abroad. A wind diesel generating plant was commissioned in 2004. Distance and bad weather work against its economic growth. Certain commodities like rice, soft drinks, and gasoline carry a 75% to 100% markup over Manila retail prices. Transportation The island province of Batanes is accessible by air via the Bosco Airport and Itbayat Airport. There are three flights per week from Manila by Skyjet Air, and from Tagueguerao, Cagayan, by small local airliners, as of January 2013. PAL Express flies to Batanes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday since May 1, 2013. Values The Ivatan people of Batanes are one of the most egalitarian societies in the Philippines. The prime motivator of the cultural values of the Ivatans are imbibed in their pre-colonial belief systems of respecting nature and all people. The Ivatans, both the older and younger generations, have one of the highest incidences of social acceptance to minority groups in the country. The Ivatans also have a high respect for the elderly and the prowess of natural phenomena such as waves, sea breeze, lightning, thunders, earthquakes, and wildlife congregations. Discriminating someone based on skin color, ethnic origin, sexual orientation, gender identity, age, and traditions on nature is unacceptable in Ivatan values. Land grabbing is also a grave crime in Ivatan societies, making ancestral domain certification an important part of Ivatan jurisprudence since the enactment of the IPRA law. Heritage Natural Sapting Island is undisturbed and unspoiled. It has intermittent white sand beaches with steep mountains and deep canyons with small level areas sporadically found along the coastline. Southwest of Bataan Island, Sapting is accessible by 30-minute Faloa ride from Radawan Port in Ivana. Sapting Island is also the takeoff point for Ivuhos Island from Barangay Nakamuan. Itbayat Island is located north of Bataan Island. Itbayat is shaped like a giant bowl. The island is surrounded by massive boulders and cliffs rising from 20 to 70 feet to meters above sea level and has no shoreline. It has a dirt airstrip for light aircraft. A regular ferry runs the Bataan Itbayat route. Travel time is about 4 hours by Faloa from Bosco Seaport. A light plane flies from Bosco Airport to Itbayat at around P1875 per person and leaves only when the plane is full. Bataan Island is the most populated island of the province. It is composed of four municipalities, Bosco, Ivana, Uyugan and Mahatao. Bosco is the center of commerce and seat of the provincial government. Mount Araya is a dormant volcano standing at 1,517 meters 4,977 feet, whose last eruption was recorded in 505 AD. Mountaineering, trekking and trailblazing are recommended sports activities on the mountain. Walking distance from Bosco, the top of Mount Araya can be reached in about three hours. Mavulus is the northernmost island of Batanes. From this location, one can see Formosa, Taiwan, on a clear day. Tadus or coconut crabs abound in the island surrounded by rich marine life. Dia Te Beach is a cove with multi-colored rocks and white sand ideal for picnics and beach combing. Located along the highway of Mahatao, it is 9.85 kilometers 6.12 miles from Bosco. Songsong Song in Chadpitan Bay is an hour of exhilarating trek from Bosco proper 3 kilometers 1.9 miles. It is famous for its beautiful sunset view. Naidi Hills is walking distance from Bosco. Chawa Cave is for the more adventurous. An enchanted cave with a natural salt bed whose mouth opens to the South China Sea and is accessible through the boulders of Chawa Point in Mahatao. It is 4 kilometers 2.5 miles from Bosco. Sitio Daira at Rikuja Ide is the fisherman's village at Mananoy Bay. Fishing season is marked by a festival in mid-March called Kapavanubanua. Visitors are treated with fresh fish delicacies from the Pacific Ocean. Within the area is the legendary Spring of Youth and Living Cave with crystal limestone formations. The bay is 9 kilometers 5.6 miles from Bosco. 
Nakabuang Cave is 5.5 kilometers, 3.4 miles from San Vicente Centro in Sapting. Mount Mataram is an extinct volcano 495 meters, 1624 feet at its summit. It is 8 kilometers, 5.0 miles from Bosco. White Beach at Batang, Hapnit and Mavatai Point all in Mahatao. Storm-proof stone houses in Batang's many residents during typhoon made up their already fortified houses with wood and secured the roofs with nets and ropes. This was done to ensure that the structures, which symbolize the Ivatan's strength and resilience against disasters, outlast the high-pressure winds of typhoon that is expected to unleash. Topankos or covering were also installed on the doors and windows of several buildings in Batanes, including the Capitol Building. During heavy storms it was also a time for Bayanihan of the residents as they helped each other tie down roofs. Man-made Radar Tukan was a United States weather station on a hilltop. It offers a magnificent 360-degree view of Bataan Island, the South China Sea, Mount Araya, Bosco proper, boulder-lined cliffs and the Pacific Ocean. At present, it houses the northernmost weather station in the Philippines, the Bosco Radar Station, and is only 2.75 kilometers 1.71 miles from Bosco. Old Loran Station housed a U.S. Coast Guard detachment for almost two decades and is about 25 kilometers 16 miles from Bosco. Ruins of Song Song is a ghost barangay which is a cluster of roofless shells of old stone houses abandoned after a tidal wave that hit the island of Bataan in the 1950s. It has a long stretch of beach. The ruins are 23 kilometers 14 miles from Bosco. San Jose Church in Ivana was built in 1814. It has a crenellated fortress like Campanile. The church fronts the Ivana seaport and is 14 kilometers 8.7 miles from Bosco. Canyon Beach and Port at Balwarte Bay in Bosco is the port of call of the cargo ships bringing goods from Manila. San Carlos Borromeo Church and a convent at Mahatao are 6 kilometers 3.7 miles from Bosco. It was completed in 1789 and still retains its centuries-old features. Ijangs are fortified stone fortresses where the native Ivatan's ancestors migrated to Batanes as early as 4000 BC lived in them for defensive cover. Fundacion Pasita is a lodging house and restaurant, which was formerly owned by Pasita Abad, the most iconic Ivatan visual artist. The house has been redecorated and filled with numerous art works of Pasita Abad after she passed away in 2004. Historical Radawan Point at Ivana Seaport is where the Katipuneros landed in September 18, 1898. It is also the ferry station of the Falawas plying the islands of Sapting and Itbayat. Boat-shaped stone grave markers, Chuhangan Burial Site, Ivuhos Island, Sapting, Batanes Chavulan Burial Jar Site, Ivuhos Island, Sapting Island Arrangement of Stone with Holes, Sumnanga, Sapting Columnar Stones, Post Holes, Stone Anchors, Itbud Idyang, Uyugan, Batanes Arrangement of Stone Walls, Idyang Site, Bosco, Batanes Paso Stone Formation, Ivuhos Island, Sapting, Batanes Columnar Stone with Holes, Mahatao, Batanes Intangible Heritage in 2012, the National Commission for Culture and the Arts NCCA, and the ICHCAP of UNESCO published Pinajmulan, enumeration from the Philippine Inventory of Intangible Cultural Heritage. The first edition of the UNESCO-backed book included, 1. Laji, 2. Kapavanuvanuwa Fishing Ritual, 3. Kapangdang Ritual, 4. Traditional Boats in Batanes, 5. Sinadumparan Ivatan House Types, 6. Ivatan Basketry, and 7. Ivatan Salakot, Hat Weaving, signifying their great importance to Philippine intangible cultural heritage. The local government of Batanes, in cooperation with the NCCA, is given the right to nominate the seven distinct elements into the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage Lists. Image Gallery References External links Batanes Travel Guide from Wikivoyage media related to Batanes at Wikimedia Commons Geographic data related to Batanes at OpenStreetMap Batanes Islands Cultural Atlas Northern Luzon Cultures Batanes Travel and Tours
Batanes Budget Travel Guide Travel Tip, a guide on planning a trip to Batanes.